Hello there, I'm the Beast Manager and welcome back to Satisfactory. Now, today we are going to start working out. We are going to start working on the uh, assembly part of our factory over here. Uh, we got in the in the previous episode our storage area and our power sorted out. Uh, so I think that we should now start proceeding towards the assembly area, especially because uh, well there is a couple of components that we are going to need a lot right that the assemble produces if we go over here we can see that we can now produce reinforced iron plates without having to go towards the crafting branch routers and even the um, smart plating over here and some modular frames and whatnot there is a couple of recipes going right uh, but uh we yeah. in order for us to uh, get them we need to combine them in an assembler now there is a uh, other thing which is uh, we are one attack away from getting the tier 2 completed uh, in order to get the tier 3 uh, unlocked we need to first build the first stage of the elevator uh, built and uh, complete right we need to put some components in there uh, I assume it's the smart plating assuming of course so how about we take care of building the space elevator so that we can actually have an idea all right so that's what I need let me go grab it. Alright, so with resource in hand... Oops, that's not what I want. I want Zoop mode build. So with resources in hand, let me just build a platform for that uh, beautiful thing. Uh, there is no point in uh, putting the space elevator on the ground level now, is it? And here we go. I think this is the correct orientation. Uh, yeah, the ports are on the side, but I think we can work with it. There we go. How oh, beautiful is this thing? Hmm. Let's try to put some space between us and this thing. Look at it going. Beautiful, my friends. Here comes the cable from the space elevator. Always a beautiful moment, if you ask me. Would you look at this massive structure? Mm -mm -mm. Beautiful. Now, I'm pretty certain that we are going to need to use uh, the smart platings uh, for the first phase, which means we need to build them in an assembler. That is never fun. But oh well. Let's take a look at this. I'm pretty certain we can um, input stuff by hand, but we can also, you know, belt it. Uh, let's take a look. Yeah, we need 50. Holy Jesus. 50 smart platings. All right. We... Uh, sure. We need uh, an assembly area for that. We need to, to have at least uh, three assemblers. Uh, let's see if I can build at least one so that we can have an idea. Yes, I can. I have the stuff. So we need three of these bad boys. We need one to make reinforcement iron plates, one to make rotors, and one to combine both of these uh, ingredients into smart plating. And now this is going to take a bunch of our resources, my friends. Rotors take uh, 100 screws per minute, 20 rods. The rods, not a problem. The screws, however... Yeah, 100 for this, and... 60 for this, so it's like 160 screws per minute plus 30 platings, which is farm, which is more than one constructor can build. One constructor can build 20, so it's one and a half constructors. Uh, so yeah, like there is a lot of stuff that is necessary. Uh, luckily for us, we still have one additional iron node that we haven't um, tapped into. So how about we go uh, over there into our iron area and. Uh, get that iron flowing into our starter base so that we can get those resources produced. Oh, and yeah, my friends, last episode we unlocked these thingies, the stack uh, conveyor poles, and I find this area to be far more beautiful now. There we go. Now, uh, I think I have the resources to build one of these bad boys. Yes, I have. I have to bring the resources all the way over there, so let me see if I can get this as aligned as possible. There we go, my friends. So now the miner is online. We have this belt coming over here. It is not like super well aligned, but uh, well, 
It's either that or I can spend like 3 hours trying to get the perfect pixel to get this into a perfect 90 degree turn. We'll never be looking at it again, so... Yeah, that's all that it matters. Now we only have to bring this line into these two smelters to start smelting all of that stuff, remove the Caterium from the uh, recipe and uh, start producing a few more um, screws and plates, because that's mostly the uh, things that we need to get the uh, advanced components to build the smart platings. Okay, I gotta to admit, I think I'm getting the hang of this. Uh, this first conveyor was a nightmare to set up. This one is actually... Mm, wasn't that difficult. But uh, yeah, my friend, so we bring the iron ore from the uh, other side of the map, right? We then combine it into these two smelters. One, two, come on, put it over there, beautiful. Uh, deposit that, because we don't need it. And now these two smelters are going to be produ are going to be sending their stuff one towards uh, one of these to make me extra plates to be used for uh, making reinforced plates and these ones over here are going to make uh, the iron rods right so we only need half which means we can split it uh, between the two of them which is pretty neat let's go like this please align beautiful let's then go like this and Bam. Oops. Wrong place. Bam. So we'll split the uh, ingots into these two thingies that, that are going to be making us some rods. Then we need to balance this thing out, right? So these things are producing 15 rods per, per minute, which means we first want to merge these two lines. Uh, come on, align like so, and then align with the other splitters in this case, or mergers. So we we'll go like this, bam, bam. So now we have a line over here with 30 rods and we want to split these 30 rods amongst uh, three constructors. Do we have the space over here? Uh, let's give it a little bit more space. So let's put it, I think that's a line, correct? Come on, come on, a line, please. Thank you. I think this is the correct spot. Yes, it is. So three more of these thingies, not assemblers, constructors, right? We are then going to um, go from a... This is a merger, right? Yeah, this is a merger. We are going to go from a merger into a splitter. There we go. So now that 30 line gets splitted into 10, into lines of 10, right? And then we go ahead and we merge these constructors once again. So pretty much we are replicating our uh, screw production thingy, uh, but uh, in this case for a different purpose. Instead of just accumulating, we are going to uh, uh, use it down the line in the assembly area, which I still have to determine where that is going to be. Uh, but I'm assuming somewhere like maybe in that area over there. Perhaps, mm-hmm. So yeah, in here we have all the ingredients that we need, in here we are going to have the plates, and in here we are going to have the screws. Now the ratios are going to be screwed, but uh, well, it is better to be producing something than it, is not it, than it is to be producing nothing, right? So now it is time for me to power all of these machines, and uh, hopefully our power grid will be able to take it, and uh, yeah, then we can proceed to the next stage of the uh, build. There we go, so everything is now powered, which is just fantastic, the plates are right there, and now we should see the screws starting to be formed, I just, you know, need to uh, put the recipe on. Now, my friends, the first thing that I will want to upgrade, the second I have the ability to, is these lines, I want to upgrade them to level 2, well, not all of the lines, but the screw line, uh, right in here, right, this one needs to be upgraded to level 2, uh, and uh, I think that's pretty much it for now. Oh, and the bi biomass line as well. The biomass line also needs to be upgraded. How about you? This line can take it. This is only producing 60 per minute, which is pretty nice. But uh, the bio biofuel over here, N not really. In fact, we only need to upgrade that one over there. So how about we do that? I think I have like a, a few plates. Yeah, I have one. Let's put you on a... Can I upgrade it from here, please? Please, come on. Allow me to... No, you're not? Okay. Okay, that's... Oh, Jesus. Really? 
This is going to be a tad bit complicated. There we go. Bam! So now we should input this thing at the same speed that it is required to produce. Look at that. Beautiful. We just upgraded our solid fuel production and would you look at that. Beautiful. And there we go, my friends. Our our power grid has been shut down, but that's that's fine. I'm going to put my assembly area right in here, behind the space elevator. We have all of this beautiful room, so uh, I think it's just a matter of bringing those resources in there and start putting them in an assembly line. Now, what the hell is going on? I just... I just, um, you know, upgraded this thing and... Uh, yeah, we're not, we have run out of fuel. That's totally fine, because we still have a ginormous stack. Now, the bad news is, uh, I will have to go out and uh, fetch myself a, a little bit more, because um, I have completely run out of wood and uh, leaves, but uh, oh well. It's one of those things, until we have the coal power, there is nothing we can do about it. Alright my friends, so with a few less trees in the way, uh, and in our vaults to be processed into fuel, I think that I can finally focus on building what I truly want, the assembly area over here. Uh, of course there is a rock in the way. There is always a rock in the way. Uh, let's see, uh, this rock is a tad bit too big. We can't really get rid of it. Oh well, we'll have to work around it. It's fine, it's one of those things, my friends. It's one of those things. Uh, I'm pretty certain that we can blow it up later once we get access to explosives, but until then, uh, well, this will have to suffice. And besides, we have plenty of uh, factory floor over here to build a bunch of assemblers, so I don't think we are going to get into any issues whatsoever. And uh, one final row over there, and another one over here. Beautiful. And look at all of this factory floor. Ain't this great? And now, first thing I want to produce... Let's just put in a random location. Oh, I don't have the plates. Guess what? That's precisely what I want to build. Precisely because of this. I never have plates and then I have to go back into the hub, craft them by hand, and it's always, you know, a small disturbance to the flow of the things that I'm doing. Alright, so now with the ingredients in hand, let's go over here, let's take a look. I want to make reinforced iron plates and we are going to need a bunch of screws and a bunch of plates to make like a... One or two per minute, it's... Oh my lord, this is going to be so slow, but that's totally fine. Because guess what, there is so many other things that I have to do, like... Uh, chop down trees, leaf collection, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> yeah, those kinds of things take a little bit of time. So while, you know, I go around collecting myself some leaves, these machines will be processing the materials and creating the plates. Uh, so now... How do I want to do this? Hmm... Give me a moment so that I can think about the layout for a little bit. Alright, so it wasn't exactly simple, but uh, we got it done. There we go, so here we have the two inputs. We are, going, we are bringing them down from the factory floor, all the way over here with those elevators, and then we just stack the uh, conveyors on top of each other, like so. And then we bring said conveyors towards a couple of these uh, bad boys over here, right? Uh, let's say, let's see, we have the inputs over there. That doesn't really matter, we uh, circle the uh, conveyors around, right? Let me just uh, not build on top of that uh, freaking uh, thingy, right? The, um, the rock of the spare, let's put one of those things right here, and then we can build another one. Like, for example, over here, right? Or right right next to the other one, or we, check, we can just build as many as we please, right? But for now, all that we have left to do is connect these uh, conveyors over here. Not the conveyor pole, please. The conveyor belt, thank you. All we have to do now is connect these conveyor um, thingies all the way over there. So, just one more second and we will be done. Okie dokie my friends, here we go, so we have now both of the inputs going in, which means we can start producing reinforced iron plates, we just need... what? Power, of course, dum dum. You uh, obviously need power for this thing. Hmm, now will this destroy our power grid? I don't think so, uh, I think this only consumes 12, 15, okay, it's uh, a few more than I was expecting, but still I don't think this should... Uh, uh, this shouldn't uh, destroy our, our power grid. And now, 
we have reinforced plates being produced, although a little bit slowly, shall we say. And our power grid got destroyed. Oh, this is just great, my friends. You have no idea. One last thing that I have to craft by hand. Thank you, that's precisely what I am always looking for. Now, there is one final thing that I still have to craft by hand, and that's the rotors. And the rotors are just needed to build the assemblers, but still, I need to craft it by hand, and I don't like it. How about we come over here, and we take care of this automatically. Now, we are going to need a bunch of screws, more than we uh, are actually producing. So, yeah, now, this line can carry uh, up to 120 screws, because that's how many we are producing. Meaning, if we split this line, we'll get 60 screws over here per minute, and that's precisely what it needs. And then the other 60 will come over here, but, uh, well... Let's just say that uh, we are not exactly uh, supplying all of them, right? And uh, we also need to bring uh, rods, but uh, rods is something that we have plenty of. In fact, we should probably stop sending uh, these rods into the sink and start sending it uh, over there. If I, if I remember this correctly, we are transporting how many? Like 60 rods per second? So 30 rods per second would probably be more than enough, I assume. Yeah, 30 rods per, per, per minute, not per second, per minute, is far more than we need, especially because we are not going to be providing all of the uh, screws, but uh, who cares? I spend a lot of time just uh, out there destroying trees, so um, even if it is uh, slowly producing, it is producing, and that's all that we actually care. Oh, and by the way, we are actually producing 30 per minute, meaning, meaning if we split it, we get 15 per minute. Once again, more than we need, so... Alright, so the way this is going to be is we are going to split our iron rods right there, right? The splitter that we had going towards the awesome sink, we uh, reversed it and had the belt coming from the other side. Goes all the way to level 3 in this conveyor rack, and then drops over there. For the... Um, uh, screws. Like I said, we are going to put a splitter right there, right? Uh, some screws go down and another set of screws go over there. So we just go like this, bam, and then bam. Beautiful. Would you look at that? Mm-hmm. I love it. <sighs> so, right now, all that I know is that I no longer need to craft anything by hand. All of the things that I need are being crafted right here, although a tad bit too slow if you uh, if you ask me. So, how about we upgrade the uh, screw line at least, because the screws is going to be a bottleneck on both of them. So uh, if we can upgrade the line to bring more screws, because we are producing 120 screws, uh, that would be beneficial to us on the long run. So the first line that should be upgraded is this one. Let's upgrade this one. Now, uh, can I upgrade the conveyor lift with um, one in place? Oh, yes, I can. Beautiful. I love it. Now, we need to still upgrade that one over there. This one over here. Oh, I won't have enough plates. Like, for... Oh, come on. Please tell me that I have enough plates to bring it at least until the... Until the splitter, I only need three more. I only need three more. Please tell me that you have produced three more. Would you look at that? The perfect amount of plates. And bam. So now we have 120 uh, screws coming in here, being splitted into two lines of 60. We don't need to upgrade these lines because the conveyor mark one can transport the 60 screws. And no problemo. But well, my friends, now I must play the waiting game. And uh, given that we are going to play the waiting game, how about we print some of these coupons? Uh, there we go. And uh, get those walls that I spoke about in the previous episode. There we go. I don't believe it is foundation. It's walls. I'm looking for walls in the walls tab. I think that's pretty uh, self-explanatory, right? Let's go right like this. Bam. And bye. And now we have these beautiful walls right here, which are going to allow us to bring like uh, belts and stuff like that uh, into an enclosed location. And uh, well, given that uh, this thing needs to be beautified, right? I've been uh, speed running through this as fast as I can, but uh, there is no point in speed running it, uh, at least for a little while. Uh, so how about I beautify it? Hmm? 
the top floor is already done so I can just go around and you know place a bunch of walls in uh, this thing well my friends the first stage of purification belting yep I removed all of the garbage belt that we had laying around and no more sore eyes for us my friends yay now it, it must be said that this thing is quite uh, well, a little bit long, right, for a uh, starter base, but at the same time, it's not my fault that the node is right there, right? Now, this line, unfortunately, would cross a path with that line over there, and so I had to uh, improvise something, right? A bridge over that line, and uh, yeah, that's what I did using the new walls over there. Hello, what are you uh, doing in here? Get out of here. Using those new walls over there, right, we created essentially a bridge. Now, uh, I'm going to do something with that in the future. I want to create a small lookout tower over there, right? And so I thought this was precisely the, a good spot to put uh, those things, you know, to give it a little bit of uh, detail to the, uh, to the walls, to have something other than just plain boring walls all over the place. Right, but speaking about walls, well, I think that's precisely what uh, I'm gonna do next. Uh, walling all this. I just wanted to have the belts in place before I put the walls down because, you know, it's kind of useful. Uh, that way I won't have to deconstruct as much things uh, to place them walls. And uh, we can even co even cover the power plant over here. I didn't thought about this, but uh, it wouldn't be the worst idea in the world if we had, like, uh, the power plant uh, somewhat hidden. Uh, the um, foundations, like, they don't even clip the... Um, on that thingy, which is pretty nice, so uh, yay. And we even get uh, ourselves a little bit of extra factory uh, floor over here, which is also pretty nice. But uh, yeah, my friends, time to start uh, walling all of this, and uh, yeah, I think that's going to be quite interesting indeed. Now, before I go and do that, okay, before I, I know I'm a little bit far, let me just go towards the map, because I've been running around a lot, and running is slow, you know. And uh, we kind of already have access to a few things over here, right? Uh, right. We could kind of get these thingies, the Blade Runners. I know these things make you run uh, faster. Uh, I only had to find a little bit of silica so that then we could turn that silica into silica... I mean, we need to find a little bit of quartz to unlock silica. And then turn said quartz into silica and just build a couple of frames. I think that's achievable. I think that's achievable indeed. Let me see. Where are them quartz? Oh boy. Uh, it's not that far. It's not that far. Probably on top of that hill over there. Uh, okay. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. What? Uh, game, what? It says quartz right here. What the... What the oh... Oh, don't tell me. My friends, I just built the most ginormous thing in the world because I've thought, well, it's going to be a quartz. We probably will want to belt it eventually. And so look at look at this ginormous platform that I built. And the quartz is on the... F it's underground. Okay. I should probably try not to jump from this rock all the way down because that probably is going to result in my death. But wait. How? Where? What? Where is the quartz? Like, it has to be underground, right? But I don't see any way to get there. Uh, oh, well. Well, YOLO, I suppose. Let's go through here and hopefully find a way to get towards that quartz. No. No. No underground paths. Nope. I, like, mm, I f I'm confused. I'm confused. Oh, well, probably a good idea to look for another node then, because uh, that clearly won't be found. Hello. Is this the edge of the map? Most likely it is. Oh, and would you look at that? We found a drop pod over there. Uh, okay, maybe we can uh, open it up. Ouch. Try not to kill yourself, basement. Oh, look at that. Okay. Hello, ugly. Kill that thing. One thing killed it, and uh, I think. Hello? Anyway, uh, let's see, where is a bunch of resources around? Rotors, or in this case, motors. Let's see, what do we need? Emergency door, repairs needed. Battery broken, uh, are you joking? Well, can I build one of these thingies? 
I mean. There we go. I don't really have a lot of biomass with me. There we go. That's more than enough, and we found ourselves our very first hard drive. Beautiful. Data on the hard drive has been salvaged and can be repurposed to unlock an alternate recipe. Salvaging more hard drives will provide additional alternate recipes. Not bad, my friends, not bad. I came looking for the quartz and I found myself a bunch of uh, garbage and uh, an hard drive. Uh, still, I would like to get me some quartz, because uh, running around is kind of boring. I would like to zip, if at all possible, but apparently I'm, go I'm, I'm not going to be lucky. Okay, uh, sure. Move on, moving on to other things. You see, the base manager has a small problem. You see, I am very stubborn, and when I... Oh my lord, another... Another one? This is the second one that I've been looking for, and uh, I can't find it. What the hell, game? Where the hell are those nodes? Because I don't find a way underground. Well, I suppose I found myself some more limestone, but that's not what I was looking for. I really wanted uh, that quartz. Can I not find it? Is it... Uh, invisible? What gives? Well, I might be unable to find the freaking quartz, but hey, at least we got an hard drive out of, out of that, so in 10 minutes we are going to get a new recipe. And you know what I'm going to do in the meantime? I'm gonna play some walls and I'm going to forget that uh, Blade Runners exist. Well, my friends, I find myself in a uh, precarious situation. You see, I need a few things in order to make my factory look pretty, like uh, the uh, catwalks, stairs and doors. This is bare minimum. The windows we can add later by deconstructing one thing and uh, one piece of wall and adding, adding in the um, window. But uh, yeah, those things are kind of imperative in order to be able to build anything. Now, unfortunately, we are barely printing any coupons because we are only putting uh, screws in. Uh, that's like nothing, right? Uh, we could probably um, uh, put in a few other things. Like, for example, we have a bunch of cable over here that uh, we are doing nothing with it, however... And, uh, well, this is probably not the smartest of decisions, but I'm, I know that the... Um, uh, the points are tied to the complexity of the item, <coughs> right? And, uh, well, we have uh, collected a couple of uh, complex items, have we not? By going into that uh, thing over there, we have the uh, modular frames, which I'm going to keep because uh, I need them to make the Blade run Runners, but uh, we have these motors over there, we have these uh, modular frames, and we have these encased industrial beams. I should probably not um, put them in the sink, but at the same time I'm pretty certain that these things will net us a bunch of um, additional um, options, right? In form of tickets. Now, over here we got ourselves a couple of uh, extra recipes. We have the copper alloy ingot which uh, will allow us to uh, get a bunch of copper in... Uh, if we add a little bit of iron, we can get the uh, concrete over here. Hmm. The problem is we need the silica and I can't find... I, I, I can't find it. I just can't. Or we can go for Caterium um, based wires. Uh, this one doesn't seem to be that good. I kind of wanted to get this one going so that we can have even, even more concrete because uh, uh, that has been lagging behind a little bit, but I can find the silica. And, uh, you know, this recipe may be a little bit better, but we probably need to build it in the assembler, because it is the only thing that uh, has uh, two inputs, uh, so it would be expensive power-wise. Uh, these are not that good, let me tell you. Nope, in the foundry, not in the assembler. Something that we don't even have. Assembler would be for the concrete over here, so... I I don't know. I don't know, my friends. Uh, I think I'm going to go for the wire, because it's probably the most useful one. Because we can turn that Caterium node into a copper node. Quote-unquote, right? So, yeah, I think I'm going to uh, buy that one, even though it's probably the weakest of all of them. So, yeah. It's confirmed. Now, my friends, in order to put those items in the uh, sink, we just need to build one of these thingies. There we go. There go all the uh, high tier items that we have, and let's see, will that make any difference whatsoever? I sure hope so, because uh, otherwise this would be uh, 
a little bit wasteful so let's see what uh, do we get come on oh there we go beautiful see holy jesus that's precisely what we should have done a long time well not not a long time ago because i didn't have the stuff but yeah would you look at that beautiful and uh, all of those items netted us 15 coupons nice i'm pretty certain that i can actually get what i need from this <sighs> i'm really happy now so i wanted the walls right auto cart and uh, i needed hmm, industrial or regular catwalks mm, let's go for industrial and the stairs and uh, well for now that's it well, I mean, there is plenty of other things. Like, for example, the attachments would be nice. Uh, let's get the attachments as well for the power, because uh, the power is also very deorganized. And these thingies and these thingies. How much will this cost me? 15 tickets. You know what? Totally, totally worth it. I want all of it. Let's get them. And now, you know what? I'm even going to build a storage over here. Uh, organization personal storage box right there to put the rest of the tickets in so that uh, they are always close by now we are not going to get any tickets anytime soon uh, at least until I reorganize this area but uh, right now I kind of want to uh, focus on other things now if you are wondering why do we need such things it's because well uh, the objective was always to have catwalks on top of the uh, belts because, uh, you know, walking around in this factory is a little bit difficult. And uh, if we have the catwalks, well, that simplifies things considerably. Not even close to being completed, but uh, yeah, at least I got to do what I wanted to do in the first place, which was to build a lookout tower over here so that we had a good vantage point over our entire factory. And would you look at that, once we have windows, we'll cover that uh, little ramp over there in windows. And uh, yeah, we'll create a small... Holy Jesus, please don't fall. Thank God. And we'll create a small lookout tower over here, right? We'll, uh, for now, just have to... Um, come on, so Could you please select the thing that I'm pressing? For now, we'll have to just use regular walls to cover this ramp. But uh, once we have the windows, we definitely are going to use them uh, to uh, create like a... Okay. Uh, as per usual, I'm going to get a little bit... Uh, distracted but okay uh, we can uh, use them to create like a small uh, viewing area over here and i think that uh, by itself would look pretty nice but uh, now i have to go and fix my uh, power situation all right my friends so walling off all of this is going to take a little bit of time and uh, given that there are a few things that take time to build like for example the plates that we need for the space elevator stage one uh, how about we start uh, making use of those? We have the reinforced plates right there and the rotors right there. And then we can just, uh, you know, because I'm lazy and I don't feel like coming over here, we can just like... Uh, this is temporary, by the way, don't feel the... Uh, like, uh, yeah, I, I know that I just um, taken care of ugly belts and now I'm creating another one. But that, it's just so that I don't have to come over here and put the plates ma manually inside of the space elev elevator. Now this thing... Oh, wait, I need to select the recipe. Now this thing will be producing them. Uh, let's go connect the power. Also very important. So yeah, this thing will be producing uh, the smart, smart plating for us at a very, very slow rate. And, uh, you know, over time uh, those things are going to fill up the uh, space elevator. And because, you know, time is something that I'm going to just uh, be wasting, uh, that's probably something that I should uh, should have done a long time ago, but oh well. Now, let's continue with what I was doing, which was just, uh, you know, belting all of this, and this have to go, has to go now. Well, my friends, let me tell you, for a starter base, this thing is starting to become a little bit uh, massive, shall we say. I completely forgot about the scale about, uh, on this game, everything is massive in this game. Even the simplest of builds, right? But oh well. I was actually thinking about uh, bringing the uh, assembly area onto a second level uh, so that I don't have to wall all the way down there as well. Because, uh, yeah, this thing is becoming quite large. And, uh, you know, given that we have this little wing over here, we could always uh, utilize the second floor space uh, for more assembly, you know. But, uh, yeah, my friends, things are going quite well. Uh, and uh, they are taking quite some time. 
and bam, a few uh, work orders later and the assembly area is on the top floor. Now, I am not yet done uh, belting all of these things and a few uh, of the uh, elevators will have to be, uh, shall we say, redone because they are not properly aligned but uh, I was in a rush because you see we have now com whoops, we have now completed the first stage of the uh, space elevator which is pretty nice uh, oh boy and yeah this thing is becoming a little bit confused so uh, let's go towards the space elevator and check it out here we go 50 parts over there let's seal it off and come on and send it into space beautiful here it goes and bam to space it goes beautiful now my friends uh, i haven't yet uh, deconstructed this part uh, over here but uh, is no longer working because i already uh, sent the resources uh, upstairs uh, but uh, yeah, apparently we'll have to send 500 plates into uh, space plus a few other things. However, let's see if we have unlocked uh, the um, coal generation. But before we go, uh, just to let you guys see some of the things that are going over here in the background. Uh, we are now transporting half of the stuff that we are producing because the uh, uh, stuff up upstairs is uh, splitted. And so we are now slowly but steadily sending some of that stuff over here. Uh, so hopefully we'll be able to produce faster than we need to build, uh, you know, constructors and stuff like that. Oh, beautiful. Tier 3, coal, power, vehicular, transport, basic, steel production. All three things are just beautiful. And would you look at that. My friends, we, we can get cold power. Oh my lord. Next episode, I can tell you what we are going to be doing. We are going to uh, set up a cold power plant, like uh, ASAP. But uh, by the way, what do we need for these things? Okay, and okay, nothing special. And over here, uh, improved, improved combat, hypertubes are nice, logistics are nice as well, but uh, nothing important. And advanced still. Okay, tier 4, not as impactful as tier 3. Now, let me go grab uh, these materials. Well, this is going to cost us pretty much everything that we have, but you know what? I believe, it is my belief, okay, that it is totally worth it. Milestone reached. Cool is an improved alternative power source to biomass and can be fully automated if provided water with the new pipeline buildings and power throughout the initial setup. Coal has been added to the resource scanner. Note, ensure the close proximity of water to the coal production line. Note, pumps will aid in vertical transport of fluids through pipes. Note, throughput and volume indicators are added to each pipe section automatically. Are we done? Cool, nice. Okay, so we can see that it is going to cost us some uh, of those resources that we have just invested, but you know what? Totally, totally worth it. Nothing uh, we can't handle. Uh, now let's take a look by... Oh no. Can we craft that? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, we can. Oh, it's easy. Woo! Copper sheet. Uh, we are going to need to make a few of these, apparently. Alright, alright. But uh, other than that, anything else like uh, that uh, we are not expecting? Uh, those frames may be necessary. Okay, so if we don't uh, use the buffers, we don't need the frames, we only need pl uh, reinforced plates, rotors, and uh, sheets, and a few other uh, regular stuff, right? Uh, but uh, pretty cool. Now, by the way, what do we need to get the uh, vehicular transport, by the way? Oh, hello. The, the pod is not yet returned. Because uh, uh, this would also be nice, you know, getting a tractor to move us around. Uh, 25 frames and a bunch of stuff. Yeah, we don't have production of any of these, so... Yeah, but uh, yeah, my friends, now we have access to coal generation, which is pretty nice. Uh, I can't wait to get that rolling, and in fact, it's going to be the focus of the next episode. I think that today's episode was achieved, what you, uh, which was to get, uh, you know, coal power uh, unlocked. And uh, the first stage of this thing done. Now it's going to take us a while until we get phase 2, but at least we have two more tiers of tech 
to go uh, through. Now, let's take a look. How far do we have coal? Because we have water nearby, so... Uh, if we can find some coal, maybe we won't have any problems, but I don't... Oh, wow. 800 meters, 800 meters. It is a little bit far away, shall we say. We probably are going to need to set up a uh, on-site um, power plant and then just bring the power to us or bring the coal towards water. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. All of those things are plans for future me to do. Uh, present me, uh, I think, has already uh, worked hard enough. But yeah, my friends, I think our starter base is starting to grow a little bit. Uh, yeah, would you look at that? Like, uh, we already have the cat the catwalks going all over the place. We now have the initial stage of a uh, second floor over here. Uh, it still only have a few assembling machines over here. Uh, nothing fancy. In here, the belts are a little bit messy, but uh, this was the best way that I had to transport the resources down. Uh, I needed both of them to come through here. Uh, so that I could, uh, you know, put them inside of the wall uh, downstairs. Otherwise, it would be just too difficult with all of these just, you know, like, billion things going all over the place, right? We have, like, 3,000 different elevators in here with a few billion belts, and so uh, things are getting a little bit complicated, shall we say. But, uh, yeah, now... Uh I only need to focus on building those uh, pipe thingies, and given that we don't really have a lot of copper, right, we established la last episode that we found... Not last episode, I think it was this episode, I'm sorry my friends, I'm, it's all been a blend. Um, we have uh, discovered the quickwire uh, recipe for the uh, wire thingy over here, I'm pretty certain. Alternative criterium wire, yeah, using the uh, ingots. So maybe we could technically uh, try to exploit that criterium no node to uh, get us the wire that way, and then we could focus the copper that we are getting into copper sheets, and uh, that way we would still uh, maintain production because you know the criterium would supply this line, making us a wire and cable, right? And then we could use the copper for the sheets, and we still have a little bit of space over here, so I think that's totally, totally feasible. But well, my friends, I think this episode is probably running a little bit too long, and, uh, well, we got a lot of things done. Just look at this factory growing, and it's becoming beautiful. A little bit blocky and all over the place, but, uh, you know me, I like me, my, I like me some asymmetry. So this is up my alley. We completed, uh, got rid of all the ugly belts and now we have everything organized. We have an assembly area on the second floor and now we have more space to grow our factory because we have plenty more things to do. But the most important part of them all, we got the coal power from the uh, Space Elevator Phase 1 and Tier 3 and 4 unlocked, which is just fantastic, which means that in the next episode, my friends, we are going to get that coal power running and get rid of all of that by filthy, filthy biomass. But uh, yeah, my friends, and with all of that said, I hope that you have enjoyed this episode and that you are enjoying the series so far. If you are, please consider subscribing and help the channel grow. But in the meantime, this is the base manager signing out. Bye-bye. Mm, this is why I want a call.